it's Vanessa from To The Brim and <sighs> squeeze the day. It is Sunday and my kiln is at about 270, I think, cooling down from a bisque fire. So I'm going to be glazing today. Welcome to anybody who's new here and welcome back to anybody who's been here before and welcome to anybody who stumbles upon this video randomly as you're searching for fragrance oil hauls. About, actually I don't know when it was, it might have been in the fall, but it might have been really early this year I tried Virginia Candle Supply and I wasn't impressed with the fragrances I got, like what they smelled like, but I tested some of them anyways and the scent throw is really good. So I thought I would give them another try. What I'm trying to do is narrow down the scents that I'm going to sell. And right now I sell uh, a couple scents from Candle Cocoon and their scents are so high quality that I'm really hoping that all of my scents can come from there, but there are some things that I'm looking for that they just don't have. There are things that I'm gonna have to find elsewhere. I ordered another variety of fall scented oils. I don't look at what it is, I sniff it, I tell you what I think that it smells like so that I'm not swayed by the name of it or the description. And then we look at the name and then we look at the description. I don't know how many I have, let's go. Okay, I need to like, Maybe I need to move them so that I can actually reach them. Okay, first one. I'm gonna say that this is pumpkin pie spice. I do smell cinnamon and not Megan allspice in this. I s it kind of smells like gingerbread a little bit. This would probably be good in oil. So let's see. And I'll test all these. I'll make some wax melts out of each of these. And I've got these little, um, these little tiny, well, they're not tiny, but they're like single serve kind of jumbo wax melts. And I'll make one of these for each scent and then try them out and then let you know how they go. So pumpkin pie spice, smooth pumpkin with the warm spicy notes of nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon. Okay, so do I smell pumpkin in here? No, it doesn't look like pumpkin. But it smells like uh, nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon. So that's what this smells like. Pumpkin, clove, and cinnamon. No, not pumpkin. Cin nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon. So that's what that smells like. Uh, I agree that that's what that smells like. And um, that's an accurate description. And it's very strong too, so I think it's gonna be fine. <sighs> Squeeze it day. I'm very excited to glaze today. I Okay, so I did four markets this week and I'm completely exhausted. And I started out with four crates full of pottery and I have like one left. So in this kiln, I have six mugs, two of them are jumbos, a couple bowls, a wax melter, a planter with an attached saucer. And that was really all I could fit into my kiln. But after I do this video, I'm going to go down and throw a bunch of stuff. I have so many ideas of things that I want to make and I just don't have enough time in the day. Oh, <clears throat> but two, I hope I like it. I got it on my finger. Uh, I feel like this is a maple syrup one and I got Vermont maple syrup. I live in Vermont and I got maple pancakes. So I have to figure out which one this is. This might be ma Vermont maple syrup. <clears throat> okay. Vermont maple syrup. Vermont maple syrup. The fabulously sugar sweet aroma of fresh maple syrup. No, it is sweet and it does taste, a, it tastes really good. I smell nutmeg and like vanilla. <clears throat> um, it doesn't smell like genuine maple syrup. It smells a little bit like eggnog. So, but I'll try it out, um, but it, it does not smell like, 
smell. I got it right. It does not smell like Vermont maple syrup. Okay, this is Fireball Whiskey. My mother-in-law used to like Fireball Whiskey, and so I'm trying to find a couple scents that kind of have to do with her. And I wanted to give this one a try. It had really good reviews. This smells just like Fireball Whiskey. So if this has a good scent throw, this is definitely going to be one of my holiday scents. And Fireball Whiskey is... A smooth whiskey fragrance with fiery kick of red hot cinnamon. Yeah, that, oh God, that my nose. this smells exactly like fire. I'm keeping my fingers crossed because that's freaking amazing. Boy, this took a real sharp left turn. This smells real different from what I was just smelling. I don't like this. I really hope it's not State Fair or Vanilla Cashmere because I don't like this. It smells like caramel. Okay, hang on. No. People said it. Okay, so the description is, so it says Starbucks coffee. Smells like you walked into a Starbucks. I get what they're going for but no, uh, I can't even, it smells like caramel. Caramel. No. Wicked vanilla. Just vanilla. This just smells like vanilla. Like, um, um, maple pancakes. Maybe it smells like maple a little bit. And I smell like the butter. But it doesn't really smell like maple pancakes. It's nice. I like it. But it would be a good fall scent, but it doesn't smell like maple pancakes. So I wouldn't like make a candle out of it and call it maple pancakes. Unless it smells different wax. A sweet buttery pancakes covered maple syrup. Okay. So like I said, when I tried these guys before, the things didn't smell like I thought they were going to smell. But... The scent thrill was good. Ah, squeeze it in. Okay. This isn't bad. I'm sorry. I think I know what this is. This is probably pine boughs and apples. It reminds me of flannel a little bit. I actually like it a lot. It just is not on the same lot. We've been lis listening. We've been listening to a lot of sweet scents lately. And this does remind me of something. I mean, I know I said flannel, but that's not what I'm talking about. It reminds me, not in a bad way, of like shave gel, men's shave gel, like Gillette shave gel or something. All right, anybody who's been here since the beginning of time knows that cedar is one of my favorite smells. Aztec Candles Cozy Cabin, straight up cedar. It's kind of cologne-y, but if you just take a quick whiff of it, like, I, I get what they're doing here. Uh, it's sharper than what I thought it was going to smell like. It's pretty strong. Uh, cedar, an age-old favorite of sharp, sweet wood and a touch of spice with, to, uh, with the re reassuring scent of that antique cedar chest. It's wicked nice. I really like it. I really like it. Um... It's almost like a sophisticated cedar. So I do like that one a whole lot. That's worth a try. But it definitely doesn't smell just like cedar. It smells like other things too. And like, um, it does say that it smells like spice. So it does.
I smell vanilla. Okay, so vanilla cashmere. This one's pretty nice too. Um, it's different than, I have cashmere cedar. And I mean, they all kind of have the same notes, the vanilla, the cashmere, amber, musk. I like this a whole lot. I would I would definitely burn a candle that smelled like this. Vanish, 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 an elegant soft musk with notes of vanilla. This has a little cedar in it too. I like that a whole lot. That is definitely a nice one. It's very relaxing. And I also found that term, uh, oud, turmeric, and saffron from Candle Cocoon is very soothing. So I'm looking for... Those kinds of soft scents. So cashmere cedar is that kind of scent. Oud turmeric and saffron is that kind of scent. And this vanilla cashmere is that kind of a scent. A very non-offensive, most people would like it kind of a scent. So when you're building your scent line, if you want to call it that, I feel like that's wicked pretentious. I don't like, I don't like that. It sounds stuck up. But when you're creating your lineup of scents, it's good to have some that are perhaps geared towards a niche, but then have a couple that are really non effect like just they're not really a certain category, let's say, or they're not um, a specific, you know, in a specific direction. They're just a very nice, pleasant scent that mo most people would like. Because if somebody's going to buy a candle for somebody and they really don't know what they like, they just want to buy a nice welcoming scent of a candle not you know uh let's say a specifically beach scent or a specifically woods or specifically food or whatever and that vanilla cashmere is a very i don't want to say fluffy scent but it's a very warm calm scent that most people would like i think i could be wrong i don't care but this smells exactly the same No, it doesn't. This smells like something I smelled. Not making a lot of these. This is a state fair with sweet notes of cotton candy. Okay. Caramel apples. Funnel cake. No, uh, this is very good. Uh, very tinge of cotton candy. It smells like caramel and maybe like caramel and cotton candy and there's a little nutmeg in there, but I don't smell that like greasy funnel cake smell and I don't smell apples, which I guess you wouldn't smell apples and caramel apples. It's just that you basically, the, the, the caramel is covering the apple, so. All right, I like this a lot. I am kind of like a little bit sensitive to Macintosh scents. They make me like icky. Like I like the way they smell, but they make me like itchy. This does smell like it's supposed to. I'm pretty sure this is pine boughs and apples and I like it. I like it a lot. It smells like Macintosh from Yankee Candle, which like I said, I like that scent and some pine. So this is really good. I really, really, really like this. So pine boughs and apples, a simple and rustic aroma of pine mixed with a small of apples. That's exactly what it smells like. It's very simple. So it'd be a good mixer for maybe like a, I don't know. I could see this mixed maybe with cypress and bayberries. Cypress and bayberry from Candle Science. 
that might be nice. I might try that. But this smells just like pine boughs and apples. I would have to say that this was a success. There wasn't anything that I didn't like. Uh, their scents don't always smell like you think that they're going to smell, but the scent throw is really, it's worth a try. I think I also have more oils coming from either Candle Cocoon or the Flaming Candle, but I've lost track. I, my mind is mush. I will probably do another video about vendor events. Uh, if I have time, I really need to do a lot of pottery and I'm taking tomorrow off. When did I have a day off last? Hmm. I don't know. But anyways, so I'm going to be doing, let's see, uh, holiday craft fair, fall craft fair, another craft fair, a harvest fair, another harvest fair, a family days. So that's six things in addition to my markets, which is three or four days a week. And let me know if you want to know more about that or if you want more pointers because I've got some pointers. I sold my seven ounce jars. Do I have one? I'm going to turn it around so you don't know what this scent is. Uh, $15, sold a bunch of those and some 11 ounce jars that are, look more like canning jars, $20. People are buying them. The thing I am finding with wax melts, if you're interested in selling wax melts at a farmer's market craft fair pop-up, there are people that have no idea what a wax melt is. So that's been weird. Like I've had some people ask me if I like created that idea and you know, we can't just assume that just cause we know about something that somebody else knows about it. So I always explain what it is. And I am also making, I had a request from a customer to make a wax melter. So I've made, I have one in the kiln right now. I made one before that I used at the craft at the craft at the farmers market. It's a really cool touch. If you sell candles, light a candle, light your favorite candle. If it's a four, five, three hour, whatever market, you have enough time to burn it across, blow it out. You know, you have time to do that. You're not going to ruin your candle. I really recommend that you melt a wax melt or light one of your candles at a vendor event because. I've had so many people be like, dude, what do I smell? And I melt the dad's pipe uh, wax melt. I might do a different one this week. I don't know, but I really like it. And people are like, is that pipe? Like, I love that. And I had some guy like track me down from all the way across the other side of the farmer's market to be like, do I smell? What is that? It smells like pipe. That's pretty much it. I just need to go see where my kiln's at, do some glazing. It'll probably take me all day. And then I have to ride my bike. I haven't ridden my, anyway, you don't care. You don't care. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well and I'm just really exhausted. Four markets is a lot in a week and I know that people, there are some people that I vend with that do that every single week and <clears throat> I, I, it was great, but um, this, the stuff that I sell, it's long, it's like it takes me a long time to make more so I can't, um, you know, I can't come home and like do jam or hot sauce or it's not a quick, like if I throw pottery today, I'm going to go throw for a couple hours and I could make 30 things and then in two days trim and put the handles on or whatever I have to do. And then it might be another week and a half before I can even fire it. And then I have to glaze it, which is a whole thing and then fire it again. So it's a, it's a lot. And, um, I sold a lot this week, so I really need to get my ass in gear and get that stuff glazed and fired and throw and, my lower back hurts already and I'm tired and, um, but I'm going to listen to a podcast and drink some coffee and get into the right headspace because you should not create when you're not in a good mood. And I want to say to my new friend Deja that I have met on Instagram, she's like my sister from across the country. If you're watching this Deja, hi, she is getting ready to launch her scent, like her wellness and home scent company and I'm so excited for her and she is helping me realize a really important thing that you are like I'm getting to the point where I need to slow down and prioritize because I'm 46 years old I'm I'm a 46 year old lady as Jenna Marbles would say well she's not 46 but um and it's a lot it's a lot and running a small business and I've gained so much momentum in the last two months doing markets and want to start my website, want to start taking better photos of my things, have more stuff on Etsy and, um, but Deja, hi, shout out, uh, to you. And we've just been really supporting each other emotionally lately. And 
So if you have a small business and you're overwhelmed or you have people pressuring you to launch or restock or whatever, it matters more to you, your business and your items and your launch or your restock or whatever. It's your life. It's your actual life. So you care more about it than anybody else. And you're not going to lose a customer just because you're like, you know, what? I need to take a mental health month or I need to, you know, this is, I, you know, time out. Do it, just do it. You have to take care of yourself. And if you're doing something that you love and that you're putting your heart into, the money is going to come. So don't let that, don't let worrying about not getting a sale make you not take the time that you need to take a bath, have a glass of wine, take a walk, you know, spend time with your family. If you've been really busy and haven't had a day off in a while, take a day trip, go to the ocean, whatever you need to do <clears throat> to recharge yourself. Just take the time to do it because it, it's fine. It, nobody's going to fall off the face of the earth just because you decided to move your launch or not restock when you said you were going to. And you might have people that are annoyed, whatever. You're a human being. I'm completely blessed by the number of candles and mugs and tie-dye things that I sold this week. Like I can't, it was like a full-time income that I made this week. Um, and obviously you're like, okay, well you're working probably 9,000 hours a week. I'm going to like, really edit this down because this was a lot of bullshit but anyways thank you for being here and obviously i'm tired and i'm babbling and nobody gives a shit bye <music>